We've arrived at Go Go Services Garage and Diho is having a good go at Trudy's wheels. We thought it was the front side, maybe the passenger side brake or something. We left the town of Hum and continued heading east. The roads took us up over the mountains. Eventually, we spotted the sea through the trees. And shortly after, we arrived in the city of Rijeka. Chris and I first started to tread the globe probably about three years ago now we're in the plannings and we decided that we were going to brand Trudy and start a Facebook page and YouTube channel so that we could share meet people network um, and really get to meet local people because Trudy is very much a tool for us she lets people know what we're doing and regularly we get invited in as you've probably seen on some of our videos a couple of weeks ago I got a message from um, a young French guy actually who's married to a Croatian girl in Croatia and he said to me if you're coming down to Rijeka I would love to connect with you meet you guys my mom and dad also live in Croatia and they would love to meet you and welcome you so we arranged to meet for a coffee and the place that we're meeting is Phenomenal. Look at this building behind me. It's actually a mosque that has been built just on the outskirts of Rijeka. So we're going to pop down and have a coffee, which they have a little coffee shop here. And uh, Daniel wanted to meet us and show us where he lives. I was just talking to one of the guys inside and he was explaining the actual idea and the concept behind the architecture. And he was saying that the tall tower is actually representative of a lighthouse and it's overlooking the sea. And then the rounded shape domes of the building are actually seashells based on the concept of seashells because we're so close to the sea. We drove south to the town of Krikvenica where Daniel's parents invited us to park up and use their home as a base to explore the town. How lucky are we today with this weather? We've, uh, we've driven down just south of uh, Rijeka and uh, we were invited uh, by one of our followers to a B&B &B on the shoreline here and it is absolutely beautiful. The weather is shining down on us. The views are amazing, crystal clear water and in fact today, yet yeah, Chris does have a t-shirt on. It's warm enough. Sorry for those of you back in the UK, but it's true. So our B&B &B is actually a few minutes walk up the top of the stairs there. But the town is only about 10 minutes walk. So we're going to go and have a little look at the town and enjoy this beautiful weather. And we need to go and buy another SIM card. <laughs> yes, the joys of YouTubing. We need data. We data. always need data. <laughs> This morning something amazing happened and in a way we're coming down twice, twice we're coming down to the seafront to see if we can capture that moment again we probably won't and we're really sorry that we missed it um, and hopefully we'll see it on the coast what was it you ask dolphins two Chris spotted a dolphin and then I spotted a second one a bit further out um, when we told Patrick and Vera who we who we're staying with about it they were like we've never seen this this is amazing so we're going to hopefully recapture <laughs> some dolphin images on the way you'll be but very lucky how I think. lovely was that oh yeah we we thought maybe you know they see them often yeah. and it was like we've never seen it we've, they've lived here 15 years and they've never seen one so yeah 
Um, so I we think are... we were a bit lucky today, but unfortunately we didn't have any cameras with us. Yeah, we were just walking to the spa shop. <laughs> um, so we're, we're going to keep looking out and if we find it, we will share it. We have camera, pre we have camera ready, aren't we? We're ready for it. Something we've noticed as we travel um, that a lot of the cities and towns and areas have places where you can walk or exercise your dog. And Kriknavika, where we are now, and I'm saying it wrong, I'm sure that's not the right pronunciation, has one too. And it's just behind me here. It's got loads of agility obstacles um, that you can train your dog on <laughs> and socialization areas. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we've never really, we've only had um, probably one dog that did as it was told. Um, the rest have been crazy rescues. It's quite interesting in the UK everything is open on a Saturday and uh, most of them are open on Sundays as well nowadays but um, walking around Croatia it seems that a lot of the shops like the mobile shop seems to be actually closed on a Saturday which is probably the day that most people would go shopping um, there are some shops open but uh, a lot of them are actually closed a little bit strange so down by the main uh, seafront, they've got all the typical lots of chairs eating outside and enjoying this beautiful weather. In fact, we actually came down here last night for a cheeky Valentine's drink, didn't we love? We did. <laughs> and uh, we left the cameras at home. Uh, sorry for that, but we were having a, a romantic evening together. Ah. <laughs> Marianne's happy, she's just seen a boat behind that does dolphin sightseeing tours. In fact, it's interesting because the whole Stop. sort of harbour here is full of tourist boats and uh, sightseeing boats and island hopping because there is an island right opposite where we are. So uh, it's low season now, it's February, Valentine's Day was yesterday, but um, you can just, it would be crazy here in the summer. I'm sure it's very, very busy. There's discos, bars, <laughs> beaches, casinos. Yeah, we're here in the quiet time, so I suppose you get to choose when you want to visit. But this time, it's good. It's, quiet. it's, it's, a, it's definitely a good time. No hassles yeah. parking, no hassles driving. No, it's lovely. Um, some of the restaurants are actually closed. Yeah, it's closed season, so there's not enough business um, for all of them. But yeah, lovely. Love in Croatia. We said goodbye to Daniel and his family and headed south. Good morning. It's bright and early. We're up early this morning because Trudy has a squeak. Yeah, the last couple of days, um, there's been a little squeak coming from one of her tires, the front left-hand tire. So uh, we took the tire off a couple of days ago um, just to check there was nothing obvious and um, this morning we're going to take uh, her to a garage which we've found um, in the next town which is why we've parked up here. Um, so it's Monday morning we're going to try and turn up at the garage for eight o'clock uh, to see if they can um, fit us in just to have a quick look. But it's beautiful. We're loving Croatia, stunning place. Uh, so this is where we slept last night. It's a little bit more cloudy this morning actually, over there, but blue sky over there. And we're heading south, which is that way, so that's good. Um, but yeah, this was a quiet little spot. The main road um, is up there, but it's, there wasn't too many cars. So yeah, so. I need coffee and then on to see if we can find a mechanic. 
you can tell I haven't quite woken up yet. I have literally just woken up. They're going to come in first thing this morning and go, what the hell is that vehicle? <laughs> you can't say that about Trudy. She's not a hell of a vehicle. She's, she's one not, heck of a vehicle. She's one heck of a vehicle. <laughs> so it's five to eight. Apparently the garage opens at eight. We're here bright and early to try and capture them. Uh, we thought we'd surprise them and go, <laughs> I sent them an email and I've also sent them a message on Facebook Messenger. But they haven't seen it because it's been uh, a weekend. Yeah, it's it's Monday morning. Bright but it should early. be good. It's best and to I get used, it checked, right? I used Google Translate. Always dangerous. Yeah. You've probably asked them for dinner or something. <laughs> <laughs> right, fingers crossed. So the good news is it's now nine o'clock on Monday morning and the garage the lovely chap that runs the garage is going to look at trudy and just give her a quick check yay super cool <laughs> and what's absolutely amazing is when i broke into my very rubbish croatian <laughs> I said, it's okay i speak english it's such a blessing being able to speak english because we haven't really encountered anyone at all i'm looking at yet. Chris behind the camera yet. but we haven't encountered everybody Everybody speaks English so far, pretty or, much. Yeah, or in or enough with me doing my chicken impression or eating impression, we've we've made ourselves understood, so we're really lucky. We've arrived at Go Go Services Garage, um, just on the outskirts of Sen. And Diho is having a good go at Trudy's wheels. We thought it was the front side, maybe the passenger side brake or something. He's taken it all apart. There are a few little bits in there, but he said that wouldn't be the problem. So he's now putting the passenger side wheel back on and he's gonna go round and check all the others for us. So we're, we're really lucky. We'll put a link below for Diho's garage because if you are ever in this area of Croatia and need a garage, it's super handy to have someone who speaks English. Well, that was amazing. Um, he checked both of the tires for us, took them off. Uh, didn't actually find a problem, took all the brakes apart, said it's all good. And then when I went to pay him, he wouldn't take a penny. So I had to give him one of the Tread the Globe t-shirts to say thank you. And he even gave us a spare headlamp bulb because we replaced it yesterday. Honestly, the kindness of people is just absolutely amazing. Yeah, we heard a couple of little stones dropped out. He said it may have been that, but um, if not, we, he said, just come back, just come back. So we've just filled up with fuel for our first time in Croatia and we managed to fill up the fuel which was almost empty and the LPG which was, was empty pretty much for £72 so I thought that was a really good price yeah. so it's obviously uh, just over maybe about one one ten a litre uh, for diesel so that's great so now we are heading south towards Zagreb So we've driven about five miles from the garage and it started squeaking again. So uh, the guy very kindly said, if it, if it starts, just come back. So we're gonna head back just so uh, maybe we have to check the back as well. So we've come back to the garage. We've just gone out for a test drive and it is definitely the driver's side wheel, front wheel. So uh, we're gonna take it off and uh, just double check the brake pads and the pistons to the brake pads again. So at the garage, they managed to change both sets of brakes and so far, uh, it seems pretty good. We've driven about uh, 15 minutes down the coastline and we've just stopped off in this lovely little um, village look you can see the sea behind us um, because we're just trying to find like a news agent or somewhere we can buy a sim card uh, because we're uh, the sim card we bought is a tourist sim card from a1 it lasts seven days um, unlimited for seven days 
but time is ticking and we're going to be in um, Croatia slightly longer than planned so we're going to go and get another sim card just to make sure we can keep up with you guys oh we found a post office this looks hopeful there you go Perfect. look at that good job there you go success so if you are looking for sim cards and you managed to find a post office they do sell the a1 unlimited sim and it was uh 80 which is 80 like Luna. uh how much is that like eight, eight nine pounds for one week unlimited internet how pretty is this town with the sea just over there okay south we go we got um a couple of hours drive and hopefully we should just get there before it gets dark and uh, the sun has come out just the for us has stopped. the squeak has stopped at the moment so fingers crossed i think we're all good Seriously, the views from here are just absolutely breathtakingly beautiful. Every spot for us at bedtime is a little bit of an unknown. We use a couple of apps and we look, along, look on Google Earth to find somewhere to stop. But yesterday we found this magnificent place. And although it looks like a moonscape, not that I know what it, the surface of the moon looks like, but this is what I assume it to look like, just barren land. As you actually turn round, phenomenal. Look how awesome and stunning this landscape is. And we were lucky because last night Trudy slept here, just next to me here. And the water's edge there, we actually looked at what time high tide was and it was 20 past one in the morning. So about 10 o'clock we came out just to check that we weren't actually in the water line um, and we were fine. <laughs> just a little concern. I did keep one ear open for lapping waves against Trudy. Um, so Chris is gonna put the drone up and uh, we're gonna show you how spectacular this sleeping spot was. And it's warm look I've got no tops on I'm all pale and white because we've been just had a British winter um, but it's been really sunny and warm in the, in um, this area so we're definitely delighted to have the heat back in our bodies <laughs> So we're just going over a bridge with a sign bungee jumping and you can see some of the equipment by the side of the road. Would you jump off this? Because I wouldn't. So I thought I'd take this opportunity just to have a little chat to the diary cam. And uh, so far so good, we're loving the adventure. And, uh, but one thing, we've had um, loads of people keep messaging and we love to hear from you and they're like, you gotta go and see this and you gotta go to the nature park and the beautiful cathedral and this town and the mountains. And it's hard because we wanna see so much stuff on the way. 
Um, but we're starting to realize actually that because we're driving around the world, we need to, we need to crack on. We don't have time, which sounds funny when you're not working and you're actually driving, uh, to not have time to visit everything, but we generally don't. Um, there's a few key chunks, as you guys know, um, of dates that we're trying to achieve. And um, we were aiming to be in northern Greece by the beginning of March. And uh, that's only 10 days away. So we've still got Bosnia, Montenegro, Albania, North Macedonia. So we're literally going to be having like a couple of two to three days in each country because um, that gives us a month and it's a long way when you look at the map to go across all of northern Greece all of Turkey and Georgia to get into Russia for the beginning of April um, which keeps us on target because you never know what's going to happen we had a problem with the tyre um, the other day as you as you know um, but you, we could have a more serious problem and uh, that could delay us so I think it's important that we try and keep not to a fixed schedule but to a rough schedule so to all of you guys out there that um, we want to hear tips on where to go um, but unfortunately we can't actually see all of them but we will show you as much as we can and I just can't believe this weather someone's definitely shining down on us okay that's the end of the diary cam and we're parked just outside of uh, the town Sibenik here on the Croatian coastline and uh, we're just loving Croatia it's absolutely awesome and we've got another day of blue skies there's actually like green rocks on this beach I'm not sure I've ever seen green rocks before I'm not sure what they are but they're really nice. So yesterday we came, we came from the north uh, over these hills here, and today we're heading down the coastline that way. Oh, check out this big green rock. There's loads of it. Join us on the next episode as we continue our journey south, arrive in the town of Trogir, cross the border into Bosnia for our first experience of van life outside of the EU. Something we've noticed as we've been driving around um, Europe and on our little trip, um, I've said a little trip, love. Um, cut. Oh.